At some point during filming this video, I had to call the fire department, but more on that later. All right, I finally got approved for Tesla FSD beta. I've been on the waiting list now since late December. I've been trying to get into this program, but I got a notification today that I had a software update. And when I checked it, to my surprise, it was FSD beta. So I'm gonna be trying it out today to see how well it works. Uh, for a more in-depth video, I'm gonna be uploading that later. I'm gonna do a thorough review of this. So if you wanna see that, do make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you see that when that is updated. But for today, we're just gonna take it for a quick spin and see how well this works. So let's get to it. All right, so like I said, this is gonna be a very basic test. I'm just going somewhere five minutes out of my house. So let's give it a try. Um, Autopilot has not yet uh been engaged on this so i'm gonna move a little bit to see okay there we go all right so it's engaged now and we're doing our first test which is i'm gonna reduce the speed right here to maybe like five miles uh just so that i'm sure so we're coming up on a stop sign so let's see how well we navigate that stop sign so it's it stopped pretty okay and we are moving forward Okay, so far so good. Uh, this is a 25 miles an hour road. So it's adjusted that even from the speed that I, cha uh, I changed it to. Uh, so we're picking up here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. Just again, uh, I wanna make sure I'm comfortable with this uh, before we start going on maximum speed here. All right, so we're coming up. Uh, to a close to some cars here I might want to bring down the speed a little bit uh, to down to like 20 15 miles an hour there just so that I, I'm comfortable with this but so far so good um it's it's handling that pretty well uh, we're gonna be making a right turn here uh, so this is where we're gonna start seeing some cars coming in and see some of the decision it makes but I'm right here ready to take over but as you can see I'm not really doing anything but I'm here ready to take over so um it's it's indicated that it's turning left so we've stopped and i can see it's creeping a little bit forward here uh there is no car so i would have gone wow that was uh, very aggressive extremely aggressive uh, i'm gonna slow down that speed one more time that that acceleration was quite aggressive more than i would do it uh you know just to allow sometimes you got crazy drivers coming in but um it did that quite aggressively i guess it's very confident on that so but we'll keep going here um this is pretty straightforward. We're gonna have a left turn coming up soon. Uh, let's see how it handles that. All right, I'm just slowing down the speed here as we get through the woods, uh, just to make sure that our overhead drone is still able to track us. If we move too fast, it might lose the tracking of that. Uh, but so far, so good. Um, and I think I just crashed my drone. All right, so as I was filming this video, I accidentally turned off the safety of the drone that was giving you guys this drone footage. And <laughs> the drone got stuck up there on a tree, which um, I, I have no idea how I'm gonna get that out. In the spirit of finishing the video, I'm still gonna continue on the drive. I have the car packed here, trying to figure out what to do with the drone. So we're gonna carry out, I'm gonna finish the drive to show you guys the autopilot and we'll see it from there, all right. I'm getting back along the way here um, after the drone <laughs> crashed. You know, that was a bummer. Uh, so we have a car coming up here. I'm a... All right. So it's slowly down the left turn. All right, so we're heading out here. There is somebody on the road, so I'm gonna... Okay. I, I didn't have to take over there. I almost had to take over because of the, the person on the road, but. It corrected for that, which was pretty good. That was quite impressive, actually. And we'll be coming up on the stop sign here on the left turn. Uh, we'll see how we handle this. There's a car coming up here, which I see made it slow down a little bit. And there is another car. So let's see if we do wait for that car itself. Um, looks like we did wait for it. All right, so we're gonna creep in slowly here. And that was a much smoother acceleration, actually, compared to the other one. It wasn't just as aggressive. As aggressive um, I guess maybe because of the turn and slope uh, but from here on it should be pretty straightforward I don't expect anything out of the ordinary to happen it's, it's a quite straight road to where we're going as you can see we're just two minutes away um, let, let's see how it handles that maybe if a car comes up and, and let's see what it does with that but 
I expect that to be quite um, straightforward. If I haven't intervened so far, I don't think I will have to intervene. All right, so this is day two after the drone incident happened and I thought I would probably just give you guys a little update. So I've tried everything I could possibly do to try to get the drone out with no luck. I even bought um, right here a slingshot from Amazon. Fired a couple of shots. I've tried all, but with, with no luck at all. My wife actually suggested that I call the... We have a local uh, volunteer fire department just across. Just probably like a minute away from where this actually happened. So she suggested that I call them. I'm a little bit skeptical about that, but I will give it a try. Uh, if I try uh, some few more things tomorrow and there's no luck, I'm going to try call them and see. I figured I might as well give it a shot. But uh, let's carry on with the review of the car and I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, we're coming up now on the final sort of left turn into the community center that I was heading into. Um, so it's done that turn pretty well. We're slowing down here and we are making that left turn. Let's see if we make it as aggressive um okay not as aggressive as uh the other one that was pretty smooth so let's see what happens all right so it's handling that pretty well and um i guess according to the gps it's gonna just make a ton and we would have arrived uh let's see if he can handle that uh, kind of seem to be freaking out here <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> uh okay all right it's moving me back and forth but i think it, we finally figured ourselves out and um all right so that was pretty smooth i really didn't have to um intervene although it's kind of stopped and wants me to take over it doesn't automatically pack itself all right that was my quick review let me know what you think in the comments thanks for watching all right so here's a little update on our drone situation so the next day i in fact did call the fire department and to my greatest surprise they said yes so they did come out there with a fire truck and use the lift to go up but that drone was so far high that even with the fire department lift it couldn't reach it so they had to use a stick to pocket it but after a few shakes the drone did fall down Looks like it's in one piece, huh? the just popped out of it. now we had a few broken arms here and there uh which should be able to be fixed but i'm so grateful that i didn't have to buy a brand new drone so thanks to the laurel volunteer fire department for helping me out with this that was very amazing you guys rock